chorus one more time. The chorus again. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land. the prelude before the congregational song before the congregational song so we are so glad to have you with us today and again we have put the tape back up that's kind of a guideline if you don't like it tear it down tear down that wall as uh, Reagan said and uh, we're just trying to help keep folks apart a little bit here's the good news if you're in the back and you can't find a seat we've got premium seating right here in the front it's free you know, you go to the ball game, everyone wants to sit up front, you go to church, they all want to sit up back. What's the, what's the deal with that? Except for these guys over here. I appreciate this crew right here. There you go, right? The second row. Good. <laughs> she, your mama made you sit there. I know. I know. <laughs> well, hopefully you have a song sheet this morning, and uh, we're going to start with One Day. This is a great song. It's a song that has the gospel, and I never realized who wrote it. Now, I know you don't have your hymnal. Does anybody know, for 500 points, who wrote this song one day? What's that? Wilbur Chapman, but you've got a hymnal. You cheated. No points for you. J. Wilbur Chapman, great evangelist, wrote this, and he wrote it, and it's based on 1 Corinthians 15, and it's got the gospel. You'll hear the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection all in this this morning. So, you've got your song sheet. Let's stand together. Let's sing. One day when heaven was filled with his praises, one day when sin was as black as could be, Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin. Amongst men, my example is he. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. Suffering anguish, despise and reject, bearing our sin, Redeemer is he. this third verse one day the grave could conceal him no longer one day the stone rolled away from the door then he arose over death he has conquered now is ascended my lord evermore if you can't sing this song as a believer something's wrong i mean let's sing let's praise the lord as we sing on one day the grave one day the grave One day the stone rolled away from the door, then he arose. Now is ascended, my Lord evermore. Living he loved me, dying he saved, buried he carried my 
sins far away, rising he justified freely forever, one day, oh glorious day, one day the trumpet will sound for his coming, one day the skies with his glories will shine. Wonderful day. This Jesus is mine. Living he loved me. Dying he saved me. Buried he can. My sins far away. done yet. Don't put it down. We're going to sing that chorus one more time. And now you have to think. We get to one day he's coming right at the end. We've done this once before. 1018. That can't be right. 1019. And we, we did it three times. One day he's coming. One day he's coming. One day he's coming. Okay. Can you do that? I'll count for you. Okay, you sing, all right? Just the chorus, here we go. Living he loved me, dying he saved me, buried he carried my sins far away, rising he justified freely. Now, that was pretty good, but who is he? Jesus. Himself, Jesus himself. He will come again. Well, we're not shaking hands. We're doing what we've been doing, but we are telling you to look around, make eye contact with somebody, and then wave at them. So, ladies, just give us some handshaking music there. Just make contact with some people. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for being in the house of God today. How many of you got an email from us at church last night? Anybody that did not get an email last night? We may not have your email address. So if you have an email address, if you'd write it down on a piece of paper and uh, either give it to myself or Pastor Gary or uh, someone here so that you can get the communication from us. And what we're doing right now, this is certainly a precaution. We learned, and if you got the email, you saw that. One of the ladies who hadn't been in church for two or three weeks uh, had some other issues, and when she went to get some blood drawn and that kind of thing, they told her that she tested positive for corona. And uh, so they're treating her. And before that, before, when she was here, she uh, wore the mask and all of that. And uh, they're treating her now for pneumonia and the corona. The good thing is, all that she is on is just oxygen. And if you go to the hospital, you know, they may put you on oxygen anyway, so you can have a little higher level of oxygen. Her husband and her grown children have been tested, and they learned that they tested negative. And so that is a blessing. The people who have been around her did not test out positive. They tested negative. But we decided we would do this just for precaution to help our people out. 
Now, we want to help you, but remember now, you be responsible for your own health. And there was a little word at the bottom that if you uh, had something, if you wanted to watch it on live stream or Facebook, whichever it is, that would be fine. But I want you to pray for uh, our people, that the Lord would keep us healthy. You know, safety uh, is of the Lord, and his name is the Lord who healeth thee. And uh, he is Jehovah Rafika, the Lord who heals. And uh, anytime you need something, you... You can ask the Father for that. So I, I hope you'll be praying. And then Mary Haynes give us a little prayer request, a friend of hers who has a, a cancer that has returned. Her name is Sandra Black, Sandy Black, if you would pray for her. Brother Nick, would you come up to the platform? And how many of you have a burden on your heart today by way of an uplifted hand? All right. So a number of people have a burden. So Brother Nick, would you lead us to the throne of grace? Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed day. We thank you for this day, Father, that we can honor and glorify you. We thank you for your grace, for your mercy, Father. We pray today, Father, that you would increase in our lives while we decrease. And Father, we pray that uh, you would give us something special from thy holy word today. And pray that you would bless Pastor as he preaches to us. May you anoint him and, Father, give him the words to say. And Father, we pray also that you would watch out over our leadership, Pastor Strange, Pastor Gary, and Pastor Joe. And Father, give them the wisdom that they need to make the right decisions. Father, we thank you. Father, we love your word. And I pray, Father, that we have to have, have such a love and passion for your word. Hide your word in our heart, Father, that uh, we would not sin against thee. And pray above all, Father, that we would be witnesses for, you, witnesses for you, that our light would shine brightly for you, Father. Father, we also pray for our congregation. We pray for your special touch upon all of us here, Father, that you would protect us from any flus or viruses. And Father, for those that aren't here today, may you just give them a special blessing. And Father, we thank you. Father, <clears throat> I know if the Apostle Paul was standing here today, he would say to us, be strong in the power of God and his might. And Father, may we do that today. Father, we love you, and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And while you're standing, we've moved the offering plates from off of the communion table so we can keep a little congestion down here. They're on the white columns on the left or right where you are. And uh, so... Brother Larry, are you the offertory guy today? All right. And so uh, if you have your offering, some have already came up and put them in, and uh, some will do that during the offering time. So God bless. Brother Larry for that. And God bless you for being faithful in giving. Uh, even though we were not in church for some time there, people were still faithful in their giving. And uh, the tithes belong to the Lord. And we give offerings unto the Lord. And God blesses cheerful givers. And may the Lord bless you. We have this Tuesday night. We're in the second night of our Tuesday nights of great preaching. The guy who preached on Tuesday night was Brother Barker. And he preached on perfection. 
I've never heard a whole message on perfection and so forth. I'm glad the Lord is going to present us perfect uh, before his father with exceeding joy. But it was a good message on perfection. This week is the Commonwealth Baptist College. They are in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Commonwealth Baptist College is located. I have been by this place before it was the college. It was just a hotel. And it was across the street from the world famous Calumet Racehorse Farm. I used to go out to that area and run around, not in the, the farm, but around it. It was absolutely gorgeous, green fields, horses there, racehorses, and whiteboard fence. And I had a spot marked off with a few miles with hills.